Hello and welcome to the Keystone Omni viewing platform. In this training session, I'm going to cover how to navigate the study list and utilize our full range of diagnostic viewing tools. Keystone Omni can be accessed by clicking the login button at www.asteris.com. You can also access Omni by going to keystone.asteris.com. Keystone Omni allows you to log in and view your images from any device, PC, Mac, laptop, tablet, or even your mobile phone. Just as long as you have internet access and an up-to-date modern browser like Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or even Safari. Enter in the same user credentials that you have been using for the thick client version of Keystone. Now that we're logged into Omni, let's have a look at the patient search feature. Search by patient name, ID, or owner last name. You can also filter by modality. Select the filter icon if you're looking for a specific date range. Enter in your dates to narrow down your search and even filter by modality. Let's pull up Leo here and have a look at his chest x-rays. I'm gonna put his first name in and then select digital radiography. Here you will see a thumbnail view of your images we have several features and functions available depending on the level of user credentials provided by your administrator. Download will allow you to save the files as DICOM or JPEG. Email is an incredible tool. Select the email button and you'll be prompted to input an email address. Press enter and you'll see that my email address is highlighted and now in place. You can add multiple addresses here as well. The Select Images button here will allow you to exclude any images you don't want to send. After you send the email, an envelope will appear at the right column of the study. This icon indicates that the study has been emailed to one or more recipients. To view more details, you can see the email log here. There will be a timestamp and an email address. Our next tool is the DICOM Send feature. Send DICOM images directly to your radiology service. Just add the AE title, hostname or IP address, and the port number provided by your radiology service. After you add the DICOM demographics here, you can test the connection and select how many images you'd like to send. Consultations can be set up here. While Asteris does not employ radiologists or specialists, we do have a network of radiologists who utilize our Keystone platform for receiving consultation requests. This tool allows users to easily send consultation requests to a Keystone consultant at which time completed reports will flow back to the patient record automatically once the radiologist has finalized their report. If you're interested in sending to a radiologist or specialist in our network, or you yourself would like to utilize our Keystone platform for receiving consultation requests, please contact us and we'll be happy to provide you with more information. We can rename studies here and attach files as well. The attach file option will allow you to attach surgical reports, endoscopy images, or even photographs like this one of Leo. Let's have a look at our images now. Click the View button to pull up your radiographs. And just a quick reminder, you can use this on any mobile device, laptop, or iPad. Walk into any exam room with your images at your fingertips. Let's start with the Layout tool at the top left of the screen. This allows me to pull up multiple panes. There are also several other features up here. I can toggle the overlay text on and off. We can toggle orientation markers on and off, intersecting line angles and reference lines as well. Next, let's look at the main toolbar. Our first tool is the Windows Level key. As you can see, I've got my left mouse button selected on the Windows Level. You can easily change this mouse shortcut by clicking on the tool with the desired mouse key. Let's go ahead and switch over to a single pane on this x-ray. Click my layout tool and I'm going to hit the one by one. Now we've got a single chest x-ray up. 
to use my Windows level tool, I'm going to click the left mouse key and move my mouse up and down. I can also do left and right for opposing contrast. We have the invert grayscale tool here as well. Select it and you can invert the grayscales. We have a zoom image also, which I've set to my right mouse key. I'm going to click on my right mouse key, move forward and back my mouse to zoom in on the image. This is a focal magnify. I'm going to set this to my left mouse key. Now I've got a focal magnified image that I can move around. We've got our pan tool here as well. I've got this set to my middle mouse button, as you can see. I click on my middle mouse button and I can move the image around. Let's go ahead and reset our image now. And we'll move on to our length and annotation tools. Let's make some length measurements. Click and drag the measurement tool and make as many lines as needed. You'll see now we have our measurements per line as well as an intersecting line angle. These annotations can be moved around to display outside of your image as well. The rectangle, circle, and ellipse annotations can be used to measure area and radius. These can be easily manipulated by grabbing the circles on the outer edge, making them larger or smaller. Let's clean up our image now. Select the eraser tool and click the individual annotations to remove them. Let's use the text annotation tool next. Select the area you'd like to annotate and input any text that you'd like to be on the image. Press enter and you'll see now my annotation is present. I can click on the text and move it around as well. We can also burn these annotations in and create an entirely new image. Go over to the actions button and select burn in annotations. An entirely new image will be created the original image will be unchanged. Our next set of tools includes for Tipo Heart Score, TPLO and TTA measurements, the hip dysplasia measurement, the pen hip distraction index, and our VPOP Pro orthopedic planning integration. These tools will be covered on a separate video. I'll also be covering our scroll, point, probe and sync feature on a separate video detailing CT and MRI studies. Before we conclude, let's cover the import studies tool. Go back to the main studies page and you'll see the import studies tool at the top left. Select the box and now you're able to drag and drop DICOM or JPEG files or you can choose a folder to which the file is located. Well, this will conclude our training session for Keystone Omni. Thanks again for listening and be sure to take advantage of our Keystone Omni platform on any device.